I talk about this movie, I just got a screening link to it because I like to have everything in advance. This is interesting, and it's also closing night. So talk about that. Well, uh, how do I say? This is the way I like to describe it. Is this is a very quirky film with quirky characters, yet everything around them, the stakes are very high. Uh, it has a very kind of Coen Brother esque type of feel to it. But uh, this is basically about how do I say this? A soldier who is sort of lost. Um, trying to find his answers to where he is now that he's back here from, from war. And he ends up getting uh, kind of hooked up with a group of people that end up ki uh, kidnapping, how do I say, sort of the symbolic prince of Korea. And uh, it becomes this amazing adventure. And uh, I'll let our producer also <laughs> continue on, on this, because he's got it's, it's, it's a It's a film, um, uh, it's, it's an action adventure. It's a comedy uh, film as well. Uh, as Diana said, in a very uh, a real, very uh, Cohen brother, Brothers type um, um, a feel to it. Um, so it, it brings a lot of diversity in, into the film, uh, but in a, in a very uh, real way. In, 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 you know, you walk and you, I, I play a Mexican cook, right? And, and <laughs> you know, my mom saw the film, she's like, you don't even look Mexican, right? But I am Mexican, right? So it breaks those stereotypes. And, uh, uh, and, and what would happen when all these things would happen to this character that's a very real character, a character that's going through, through, through real things. And uh, Liz, uh, um, who, who plays Mia, uh, she, she, you, you'll meet her later. And, uh, you know, and she's also going through the difficult things of, of, of the marriage falling apart because of, of, of that experience of having that, uh, that husband coming back from war and trying to find himself. Uh, so, so bringing all that into a quirky comedy, you know, chasing bad guys, action, fight scenes, fight scenes uh, et cetera. It's, it's a really entertaining film, and, and it really has a message uh, but, about but, that. But thanks to this man, uh, he was able to use his ingenuity, because he does have an MIT background. Uh, he was able to help create sort of this big budget feel to it on a very small budget. And uh, we all collectively had different roles, and so that's the beauty. Talk about it being chosen here at this particular film festival. What's that like? Because I know what it's like to pick a film. Uh, I, I think this is a great festival. Uh, uh, we were very excited to be here. Uh, I mean, our, our film is, uh, it, it has a, a large uh, Asian cast, but it, uh, as we mentioned, it also has a diverse cast. You know, uh, it has myself, you know, Miguel being Mexican, uh, uh, African American. You know, we have a variety of people. But the great thing about this, this film festival is I think it, it, it's a great festival for us. It's in LA. It's, it's Of, of what today is now being represented of, of Asian uh, nation casting in regular roles, in, in roles that that you know of, of real people, uh, and 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 it, and it represents that. You know, it's not about being Asian; it's just about being regular people. You know, that that under are presenting under the circumstances yeah. that are real circumstances, uh, and that's and, and I think that this is a really showcase for this for this festival. For this festival. Give us your social media contact so people can reach out and follow the track of this film. Uh, so we have a Facebook uh, page, uh, The Last Tour, so you can find us uh, out there. And you can also, 